Are things feeling a bit wobbly? Maybe it's the retro shade. Not sure what I'm talking about? I'll tell you in just a minute. It's Laura Giles with Pan Society here today to talk about Mercury retrograde. So, Mercury is the planet of communication. Retrograde means to go backwards or opposite. So, when the planet is in retrograde, it appears to be going backwards, which means that everything that it rules, which is communication, may be seen to be a little wonky. Now, um, there's a period before the retrograde and after the retrograde, a transition that's called the shadow. And instead of calling it Mercury retrograde shadow, I just call it retro shade. So if you're feeling a little wobbly, that could be the reason why. So when this uh, energy is happening, some of the ways that it shows up is in contracts falling through. So these are going to be things like big things like uh, business contracts, buying of big ticket items like a car or house. Probably don't want to do that because what can happen is you think that it's done and then you find out later that it's not. There's a glitch. There's a something that's fallen through. There's a, uh, you know, a clause or something that you forgot to sign and it takes a lot longer than you think it's going to. So this doesn't mean that you can't sign a contract at this period. I mean, life has to go on, right? And this happens three times a year and it lasts for three weeks so you just can't put your life on hold it just means you need to be more careful and if you can't avoid it then definitely avoid it another thing that can happen during this time period is travel difficulties so you can get stuck it could be weather delays it could be anything but travel tends to be impacted i know that that certainly happened for me and i don't willingly travel long distances during a retrograde anymore just because why <laughs> Uh, another thing that, that can happen, and this is most common, is communication between people. So be careful and take your time and say what you mean. And if someone says something to you that sounds a little like, ooh, I'm not sure I heard what I heard, check it out. It might not be what you heard. Or maybe you did hear it right and that turned out to be not what is meant. Or maybe there's some other things that need to fall into place that changes things. So there's lots of reviewing, redoing, that kind of thing going on with Mercury retrograde. Another thing that happens during this time is computer errors. So I can't tell you how many times I've lost my website during Mercury retrograde. So you might be really inspired to be like, oh, I'm going to do an overhaul on my website. I'm going to just tell you now, don't. <laughs> really don't. Wait. <laughs> you might want to back some stuff up because we're still in that retro shade uh, place so it hasn't gone to mercury retrograde proper so you do still have some time to prepare for that three-week period which starts March the 5th and goes to March 28th now um, this particular mercury retrograde period may be a bit more tense depends on where it falls in your chart so it's probably going to hit the water signs and fire signs harder than the air and earth signs um, so what you need to know is that this one is in Pisces and Pisces is ruled by Neptune. Now Virgo and Pisces are opposites um, on opposite sides of the uh, astrology chart. So Mercury is a long way from home, way out of his comfort zone in Pisces, which is ruled by Neptune, which is dreamy. It deals with the underworld and the mystery and spirituality. And Mercury doesn't like all that stuff. Mercury's practical. Mercury's a perfectionist. It doesn't like things to be loose and wild and free. It wants them to be nailed down and pretty and precise. So this is where this discomfort is going to come from. It's like, how do I deal with this? So if you are a water sign, um, so I'm feeling this already, and that's why I was like, hey, I need to give people a heads up about this. So to me, the best way to deal with that is to go into your water. So I'm triple water. And um, if you, because water's flexible, it can move into little cracks and crevices and just kind of go anywhere and everywhere. And if, what that means to me is that 
you let yourself be the chameleon and be what you need to be. So if you find yourself in need of details, find those details. It's not a big deal. You can do it. We're all whole people. And if you find yourself in need of the flexibility of water and um, the dream equalities, then go into your strength. Because you may see a lot of that happening right now. Another thing that everyone can do is to go into the nonverbal types of communication. So go into your music, go into poetry, into mythology. These have lots of places for teaching. Uh, without these types of things in your spiritual life, it's gonna be kind of dry. These provide the juice and the roots and the deepening. So there's a lot of potential in this cycle for spiritual growth. I'm talking explosive growth. So this is already happening for me. I know it's there. Um, because that whole Neptune thing is just ripe and ready for you to explore it. So if you dare, go into that underworld, go into that unknown, and hear all the things that is, are there that is just willing to communicate with you. Do that in the way that works for you and see if it can open up an explosion of growth for you. So there's two ways to do, deal with anything, like it's a problem or like it's a gift. A lot of people approach Mercury retrograde like it's a problem, like, oh, let's just close down the world. Here comes Mercury retrograde. What I would suggest that you do is use this. You know, it's really important that we take time to review and to restore and renew and redo because it's kind of like saying, are you sure? And if you don't ever ask yourself, are you sure, then you can be 10 miles down the road, 10 years down the road. Be like, oof, I should have known this 10 years ago. Well, here it is. It happens three times a year, lasts about three weeks, sometimes four times a year. And this is a perfect opportunity. You know, it's like we have moon circles. And moon circles are the time to tap in with yourself and kind of get reconnected. This is kind of a way to do the same kind of thing. So take advantage of that Mercury retrograde. Use this retro shade to get yourself grounded and prepared. And I would love to hear how it's affecting you. Is it stirring you up any? What's your sign? You know, maybe we have some things in common. Be sure to like, share, and comment. And I would love to hear your questions. My questions have kind of dried up. So we take requests too. So if you have any, let us know. See you later.